What's up guys? Welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And today I'm going to show you a full day of eating on a lag day, which means nice and high carbs. I'm pretty much done uh, with the rebound now, but that's pretty much just the automatic effect your body has because my diet still hasn't changed. But you can notice that, of course, in the first month that you're done with the contest, you're still really absorbing all the nutrients without really losing conditioning. If you guys saw my uh, guest posing at the William Bonac Classic, it was two weeks after the competition and the front of my body was pretty much the same conditioning, almost the same conditioning, but the back really did suffer and now the conditioning is starting to slowly decline but my weight is starting to go up. So it's not a recompositioning, but it's really, you know, just gaining some weight. Part of it is quality weight, but in a lean bulk, you cannot get away with staying just as lean as contest shape, obviously. That wasn't my intention either, because this lean bulk, I want to gain some muscle on the weaker body part, of course. So right now I'm doing some cardio, as you can see on the bike. And uh, I'm doing that because I want to actually improve my digestion. Um, when you do cardio in the morning, fast it, because it's fasted right now before eating anything. However, I did drink a liter of water already. I'll tell you about that later on. But your digestive system will actually uh, start up. Your, you know, everything will start to work. If you wake up out of bed, the water distribution in your body, the fluid distribution in your body is still not great. Nothing is up and running yet, and when you start eating, the digestive process is simply slowed down. But anyway, this is the cardio bike that I'm working on. Always doing 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 25 or 30, depending on if I went out to dinner yesterday, if I had a cheat day yesterday or a cheat meal, or never a cheat day, but usually going out to a restaurant. Then I like to, you know, be fast just a little bit longer and... Uh, you know, because you won't really be that hungry in the morning if you had a big meal the, the day before, the evening before. So, you know, cardio is mostly instinctive, but I do it every single day. A minimum of 15 minutes to 30 minutes to start up all the systems. But now I'll show you my first meal of the day. All right, guys, I just finished the cardio around 20 minutes. And again, it's for the digestion process to begin. I also already had a liter of water, so I filled this up entirely, had a liter of water right uh, after getting out of bed, and then drinking that, and then doing the cardio. It actually flushes out more toxins, and it refuels your muscles with hydration. <clears throat> Excuse me. But your muscles are mostly water. So if you sleep and you breathe out a lot of water throughout the night, you will lose that water content, and when muscles are dehydrated, they will be catabolic so some people are scared of losing muscle when doing cardio but it only happens if you are dehydrated guys so make sure to drink enough water right after bed anyway let me show you what this breakfast will consist of and it's going to be one of the biggest meals of the day you can see, see a big bowl filled with all kinds of powders one of them is oatmeal but actually that's a 150 grams of oatmeal right there but also, I've got some oat bran. If you can see the fibers in here, actually, it doesn't say that, but there's a lot of fibers in here. And psyllium husks, also a lot of fiber. So I'm adding around 10 grams of this and 10 grams of psyllium husk in here. And that allows you to add a lot of water to this because it will soak up all the water and you get a nice big hydrational bowl of oatmeal that is very delicious. I also add, of course, after this, a lot of other things, which I will show you right now. All right, so the oatmeal is actually going for already eight and a half minutes. Now I'm going to do another three minutes after mixing it up with this one. And now, in the meantime, I'm actually going to prepare rice for two meals, for one regular meal and for my post-workout meal. The post-workout meal will have 150 grams of rice. And the regular meal 60 grams of rice so the post rocket meal has a lot more rice you already see powder on there that's actually a stock made of mushrooms and other vegetables with some added salt which is needed after a workout obviously and i also will grate fresh ginger 
this, these two will go in here for those two meals and fresh turmeric. This actually gives it a yellow golden color. Uh, it looks like a caterpillar basically, but uh, it actually is a turmeric root, a big one. I got this at the market usually, um, you know, at a grocery store you get only very small ones, but this one is awesome. Normally you can use the powder, but in here, because it's fresh, there's volatile. There's uh, a lot of oils in there, more minerals, more vitamins, just a lot more phytonutrients still available, which will be graded through here. So let's do it. Okay, as you can see, everything is graded through here at around three times as much water as rice. It allows it to cook longer. And you can see, I'm using it with a lot of turmeric already. Should I turn it on? Like this. But the amount of water actually allows it to cook longer, allows the rice to absorb all the ginger and turmeric for longer. And actually, it doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes pretty good. So... We got the oatmeal out and we added some blueberries, 100 grams to the 150 gram of oatmeal. The purple color is actually from a variation of oatmeal that has some dried blueberries in there. It actually is from my Musli, like from this brand, which is a pretty awesome brand. And, you know, got some uh, yellowness, some goldness from the turmeric right there. The only disadvantage of grating turmeric, but anyway. We added some blueberries, 100 grams, very, very healthy for you. Great antioxidants and just delicious. And we're also going to add a protein source. And this is my own brand, Gladiator Pro Sports. This is my first supplement, the Whey Isolate. To prove it's mine, I'm right there. And you can check it out at becomegladiator.com. But honestly, I'm very proud to say that there's a lot of protein in here. 91 grams per 100 grams of protein, which means 27.3 grams of protein per 30 gram serving. And that is very important because that tells you that there's actually nothing in there apart from the protein. So it's a whey isolate. And for people who don't know the difference between isolate and concentrate, very shortly... Isolate is the isolated protein from the whey concentrate. Most protein brands sell whey concentrate. It's a cheaper version because it's a more raw version, but it contains more fats, more sugars, and more lactose. The lactose is the most, you know, um, the biggest disadvantage about whey concentrate because a lot of people don't properly absorb lactose. And what happens is you actually get bloated, you get gassy, you get malabsorption, which basically means that what you're eating won't get absorbed for the full 100% that it could be if you didn't get bloated from the lactose. This whey isolate doesn't have the lactose. So if you are getting a whey isolate anyway, if you're interested in getting some whey protein, check out my website, becomegladiator.com. Uh, we ship all over the world. We made the price very affordable for two and a half kilograms of whey isolate. Most brands only go to two kilograms. And with the amount of protein here, I'm pretty sure you'll be very happy. So if you want to support me and want to get a whey uh, concentrate or a whey protein anyway, make sure to go for the whey isolate and experience the better version of this protein yourself. So I've added 40 grams of the whey isolate to this uh, oatmeal and now I'll also be mixing this up first and then adding some nut butter that I made myself. All right, so here we have the nut butter. It's actually made from almonds and as you can see, it's a natural butter. It uh, has a little bit, well, actually it doesn't have an oil layer on top of it, but it actually is nice and smooth. And all you have to do is use this blitzer right here, put it on here, turn it on for like five minutes straight. And then it'll turn to this. So 250 grams of almonds in here, a little bit of salt, a little bit of coconut oil, like five grams. It'll warm up and then it'll turn into this butter. And you can see actually the, the craters, the effects of me mixing it right there on the side. But it turns to butter. As you can see, it's just perfect consistency like this. So this is the most healthy and cheapest option to get your own nut butter. I'll be adding 15 grams to this meal right there. And by the way, I always like to add some little treats here and there when I'm in off season, some kinder chocolate for the melting flavor of the beautiful chocolate. And last, but definitely not, not least, as you can see, I added the butter right there, the almond butter, but I also added some dark chocolate drops some carrots. and here you can see what it is. A lot of people ask me, it's from Calabout, but 
here all of the nutrients, phytonutrients, and the properties of the chocolate are still held inside. Because you can see here, it has never been heated above a certain temperature, allowing it to actually maintain and retain all of the properties of chocolate. And one of them is actually a true muscle building property, which I'll make a separate video about. But you always want to get at least 70% dark. I also have 85% dark of this one when I'm first going to finish this bag. It's a big two and a half kilogram bag, actually made specifically for making chocolate yourself uh, by melting these callets. So they're perfect for here, melting on top of the hot oatmeal, which is perfect. And, uh, you know, in here is also a lot of nutrients to enhance a nitric oxide in the muscles, which gets you a great pump. Next to being an antioxidant, it of course is very delicious in here. So I will be enjoying this meal right now for sure. By the way, guys, it also added some salt uh, during the cooking process of this oatmeal. Uh, instead of adding it after it, you have to add it during the cooking process and that'll make it taste a lot more superior. And right here we have a kiwi, which I actually like to eat in the morning and after the workout, some extra carbohydrates, but at the same time, it um, the skin on there, which I leave on, I just cut the hard sides out. The skin on here actually helps um, digest protein. So it's very healthy for you, some extra fibers and vegetables, I mean, uh, fruits are always very good, so make sure to have this because even though the way I split absorbs and digests really easily, the oatmeal has protein, all the other ingredients have protein, so to make it digest even easier because it's a big meal, I like to take a kiwi. Let's enjoy. Alrighty, now I'm done with the oatmeal. I just did some uh, work on the computer as well, and now it's time to prepare the meals that I'll be having at the gym. I already have two meals done at the gym itself, still from yesterday, and I'll be creating two meals uh, from scratch. Already cooking the rice right now, but I'm going to show you the vegetables, the fat source, and the protein source that I'll be adding to the meal. So let's check it out. Okay, so the rice is still cooking, probably going to be done within five minutes. Right here, we've got the protein sources we'll be adding to the meals. Probably the most important thing. It's vacuum sealed and it's actually prepared in this device. This is the ANOVA uh, sous vide machine. And what this actually does is I can show you right now. Here it turns on. I can actually put a temperature that it needs to be. This is 55 degrees Celsius. And if you put the timer here on an hour, you put the fish in here, and if it uh, actually stays at this temperature for an hour long, then it will be fully cooked, but it's never going to be overcooked then. The benefit of this is you add the marination that you want. It's actually going to soak up in the fish or the chicken or the steak or even the vegetables that you want, and then you vacuum seal it, or you can actually put it in a little bag and make sure there's no air in it so it doesn't float, and then you put it Right in here, I have a much bigger container than this, but this is just for single servings. Then you make sure that this is at the right temperature. So if I start right now, it's actually going to, well, it's low water right now, but it actually will increase in temperature and then it will get to the 55 degrees. And then you put in your fish for about an hour. But the thing is for prepping, this is very amazing because I put in 20 or 30 fishes in there or chicken or steak, whatever you want to prepare. And then you actually put it in here for an hour, do your thing, and it will actually send a message to your phone when it's done. And then you can take it out, let it actually cool down and put it in the freezer or the fridge. And because it is vacuum sealed, there's no air in here, so it will stay a good for at least 10 more days compared to a regular cooked meat or fish. And if you put it in a freezer, there's no freeze burn because there's no air in there. So the quality will also be higher and the taste is always amazing. It's always perfectly cooked. So I'll make a separate video about this, but that's just an amazing way to prepare your protein. Right here, we have the vegetables that we're going to use. I already prepared this one in the air fryer. So this is a Brussels sprout and parsnip mixture with some herbs and spices on there, prepared in the air fryer. And here we've got some cooked pumpkin. Uh, we actually just buy three whole pumpkins, put it in the oven right there for 45 minutes, and then you've actually got the pumpkin ready. Much, much cheaper than having to buy this 
in chunks like this from the grocery store. The fat sources, the mm. last source that we're going to add is coconut oil to the bigger meal that we have post-workout to absorb very quickly. I still like to add a little bit of oil because otherwise, you know, I get a blood sugar spike and then a drop real quick, which I don't want. And this oil, an MCT oil, actually you know, has been proven to work a little bit better for uh, energy stores and uh, fat burning. And coconut oil also has other properties as well. And I've gone and add some avocado to this meal, 50 grams to just a regular meal that I have after the post-workout meal, like two hours afterwards. So the rice is also done. So let's actually check it out, turn it off, open it up, and kaboom, there it is, guys. The rice is done. Let me show you right there that it's just perfect rice. The color from this is purely from the turmeric. Uh, the grated turmeric, you can see the piece is still right there. Also the grated ginger, and also a little bit of the stock that I added with the salt. This is gorgeous. Let me add this to the Tupperware containers and let me show you the end result of both of the meals. All right, so this is the final result of the both meals. We've got 150 grams of uncooked rice in here. Golden rice, of course, with the pumpkin. By the way, the pumpkin is a low FODMAP food and I only really put 100 grams of pumpkin in here and 25 grams of the Brussels sprout and parsnip mix because the Brussels sprouts and parsnips, if you take too much of it, it will cause a little bit of bloating for most people. The pumpkin doesn't, so I want this to be absorbed as quickly as possible. Also, of course, here added the fish, white fish, marinated to perfection, as you can see. Here, the same thing, a different marination, different white fish. And a little bit more vegetables here, because there's less uh, rice in here. So here we've got the two meals, post-rocket meal of the legs. This is going to be a regular meal that I'll have three more of, actually two more of throughout the day. So let's go to the gym right now. All right, guys, I just got done working the legs. Golden era style, of course. Now it's time for a post-workout shake, which I always do after every single workout. So let's show you what that's going to be included in the shake. Okay, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, my first meal of the day, actually the meal I had before the training, was the Gladiator Pro Way Isolate. I like to put around 45 grams in here. This is a strawberry flavor. So for my oatmeal, I like the vanilla flavor, and for my shakes, I like the strawberry flavor. A lot more flavors are coming, for, but for now, those two are the most famous, most popular flavor, so we'll have that. This gives me around 40 grams of pure protein after the training, and uh, then I'm going to go into, into the inversion table to actually uh, stretch out the lower back. Very important for me to do that because I train the legs, but when you squat, I did a hack squat, I did a Smith Machine sumo squat, I did glute hand bridge in a lot of those exercises the lower back is involved so you want to actually stretch it out again now it's uh, pumped up and you want to elongate it again to do your back workouts efficiently and your uh, leg work workouts as well to really uh, recover from that because you only want to the legs to be pumped up and not the lower back so keeping it free keeping it uh, you know free from being so tight helps a lot during the exercise but I'm going to drink this first then spend 10 minutes in the inversion table and then show you my post-workout meal. All right, guys, I'm in the inversion table right now. Actually, I'm gonna lay back. And now we're gonna go upside down, just like this. As you can see, upside down completely. Oh, yes. Kinda have to get used to that the first time you do this, but uh, after a while, whew, you do completely upside down right now. As you can see right here, I'm gonna spend like 10 minutes like this. And uh, yeah, the face looks uh, interesting, but this will elongate the lower back. And uh, it's very good for recovery for sure. So I'm gonna spend 10 minutes like this. Look at that. Then I have a post rocket meal. So let's check that one out. All right, guys, so I had to shake about 20 minutes ago, and now I'm having my post-workout meal. This one you saw before at the beginning of the video when I made this during the breakfast, and uh, it's 150, 150 grams of uncooked rice with 250 grams of white fish and the pumpkin and some coconut oil. Also, we'll be having the kiwi, and on a leg day, I like to have something extra as well. 
a muffin, which I'm going to enjoy for sure. So, going to enjoy this meal. Uh, all the macronutrients and the calories and stuff will be in the description box, so you can check that out. Also, the total calories of the day, so check it out if you're interested, but this will be pretty much in combination, combined, uh, you know, in comparison with the breakfast, the biggest meal of the day. Let's enjoy. Alrighty guys, it's time for the third meal of the day. It's going to be one of the regular meals that I showed you. It's actually one of the meals that I had at the gym already. It's the whitefish, pumpkin, avocado and rice meal. I'll show you in a second, but right here I don't have glasses. These are just simple blue blocking glasses. So no prescription, but it's actually to prevent um, my melatonin production to stop because when you receive blue light from that screen right there, the computer screen I'm looking at, the melatonin production, which is the actually the compound that allows you to fall to sleep, uh, when that stops, it's because of the blue light you're, you keep, you know, sending in your eyes by watching your phone, watching your screen, watching your TV. So wearing these glasses definitely help a lot in preventing that from happening. So your natural production of all those compounds in your brain is actually, you know, uh, not interrupted. So let me actually show you the meal. Right this right here is 250 grams of white fish, another kind again with some parsley on top, very good nutrients. Also with a sous vide machine, I made this meal yesterday already, just had it here in the fridge at the gym. Some pumpkin again, about 200 grams, some 50 grams of avocado, and we've got the golden rice again with the grated ginger and turmeric. So that's meal number three. And look at that, that's pretty cool. But you can see literally from this already the blue light coming from the screen. I actually do a filter on my screen that I use, it's called F. Uh, f.lux so if you guys uh, are also working like me uh, doing emails workout plans nutrition plans or anything else on your computer late at night make sure to install that app it's literally called well let me actually show you right here f point lux that one and you can change your location and if you change it to where you currently live then it will actually change the color of your screen filter out the blue light as the day continues so during the day you won't notice the filter is there but during the night the blue light will be filtered out so you will have more like a yellow orangey screen like a sunset actually that actually allows your brain to relax more and be able to sleep more because in the end recovery is key and uh, after this leg training i really feel a little tightness in the lower back i really feel the fatigueness in my leg so tomorrow is going to be a rest day for sure it's hard to take rest days especially after having a contest you know having a nice rebound but having a rest day is very important for uh, recovery and for actually getting stronger but uh, i'm going to enjoy this meal right now and uh, in about two hours after this have another one let's enjoy Okay guys, we are back home from the gym and it's time for the fourth meal of the day. And the meal will now be a pita bread like this. Probably will take both. And a wrap like this, gluten free. That's actually going to be filled with a vegetarian chicken shawarma. But that's why I combine it with warm smoked salmon flakes for the whole protein. But in the off season I like to of course cook an experiment with different amounts of uh, types of food and protein and the vegetarian food sources actually if you look at the protein right here isn't bad at all 21.3 grams of protein only two grams of carbs and four grams of fat so very comparable to pretty much any animal source but as we all know the uh, leucine content you need from animal protein for the complete amino acid profile and to get the most of your muscle protein synthesis so I'll be uh, filling this one up with a mix of vegetables and what do we have here we have some cheese we have some cheese <laughs> but it will, there will be onions and there will be uh, how do you call that uh, green beans and right there and some bell peppers to be added to that mix so kind of like a you know Mexican shawarma kind of dish with a little bit of 20 plus cheese uh, this is actually a brand in the Netherlands that actually also has a lot of protein as well if you look at here it has 29 grams of protein per 100 grams and only uh, 14 grams of fat for a cheese that's pretty good 
So combining all of this will yield quite a lot of protein and you can see that in the description box below this video. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the end result of this meal right now. Ooh, look at that you guys. Burritos are in the making. Healthy style though. <laughs> but these plates are going to be very enjoyable. Guacamole, tzatziki, and some special on Doritos. Of course on a leg day, it's all possible. And in here, I have the two the vegetable pita breads, which I'll be filling up with the extra mixture that's in here. And you will see that at the end of this clip. Now this being the final meal, the final result of this meal looks pretty good. We've got some two pita breads filled with the vegetables, the salmon and the vegetarian chicken. And here we have the same with some extra beautiful nachos with some guacamole and tzatziki sauce. So let's enjoy this. All right guys, it's time for the last meal of the day, the fifth meal. Normally I have six meals, but it's kind of late right now. And I uh, got up quite late as well. And when I had my breakfast, I had to wait quite a long time before I was able to have the uh, you know the workout meal after the workout because we had some work to do at the gym and uh, it took longer than expected so sometimes it happens and what you do then is you increase the meals that you know that you will still have throughout the day to compensate for lacking one meal so you know five to six meals a day is always good but then try to increase the meals um, you know, that you have left of the day to compensate for the caloric loss of that one meal and I'm talking a bit soft right now because my girlfriend's already asleep. And uh, but I still need to have my final meal, so let me show you what it contains. So right here, this will be the main thing that it will be containing. This is actually quark. It's called kind of like yogurt, but a lot more protein. As you can see, 8.5 grams of protein, virtually no fats, just a little bit of carbs added. Uh, that's from the protein itself. I'll also be adding, of course, 30 grams of Gladiator Pro to, uh, you know, to make up for the other meal that I'm missing. But to also add another protein source that is very high quality. The carbohydrates and extra fats I'll be adding from this. This is from my Musli. I actually get an advent calendar every single day. I get a, a different uh, Musli to go, and this is always 85 grams. So I'll add this pretty much every day to my uh, to my yogurt or quark as we call it in the Netherlands and every time you have different tastes, different flavor as you can see berry coconut we have here here we have blueberry and here we have apple for example so that's very nice to switch things around and then we'll also be adding some extra fibers for the night to be able to absorb this and later in the morning exterminate it in the bathroom so let me show you the actual final result all right, guys, so this is the final result. As you can see, you've got the nuts, the granola. As you can see, there's dried fruit in there. High quality, very delicious. You've got the blue, I've actually added some frozen blueberries as well, 100 grams, added 20 grams of almonds. Right there is the fibers, and there we have the protein and the, the yogurt or the quark. So we're gonna mix this up, and this is going to be delicious. Anyway, guys, I'll check you in the morning and finish off this video. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. Just had my breakfast, pretty much the same breakfast as yesterday. Again with the oatmeal, with the blueberries, the chocolate, the almond butter, and of course the whey protein isolate by Become Gladiator. But yes, it's the next day. You can see the total calories, carbohydrates, and all other macronutrients right here and down in the description. So the full day of eating you just saw um, is pretty much an odd day because usually I do have six meals a day. Pretty much four meals are the fish, vegetable and rice meals. But of course, every time I use different vegetables, depending on what we have in the fridge, what we bought at the store, uh, the white fish is different every single time, different marination processes. And the fat is usually the avocado and for the post work of the coconut oil, that doesn't change. And then the first meal of the day is always the oatmeal. And then the last meal of the day is usually a salmon meal with sweet potatoes and like asparagus or broccoli but I'm in a nine to ten month off season right now well that's a total amount of time I have until the Mr. Olympia in 2020 so it's pretty much going to be at least six full months of bulking and uh, since I still need to pack on quite a lot of muscle at least 
well even if it's only one kilogram at this level that's quite a lot of muscle if you want to put it in the right places so because it was a leg day yesterday i did increase my calories uh, a little bit compared to other days so that's why i had most of the carbohydrates and the calories after the workout that was quite a big meal so if you that's why i advise the people also when i make uh, uh, nutrition plans when you want to have a cheat meal or simply a meal that's bigger with like a cookie or a muffin or a bagel that you like and that you miss in your diet have it right after the workout um during a workout day that is a weak muscle group and for me it's the legs for some people it's the back or the chest but then have the biggest meal of the day in addition to that meal which should be healthy like rice or potatoes with a good protein source and a good fat source but the fat should be on the low side in addition to that you can have like a muffin or a cookie or a bagel if you are bulking slash lean bulking and your body composition is still quite all right and mine is quite all right so i know i can do that and take most advantage of that post-workout window which does exist but mostly only for protein but you do want to replenish the glycogen as fast as possible just because your muscle cells are more sensitive to insulin um, so that's why where, where the term comes from insulin sensitivity when you work out the muscle cells specifically become more insulin sensitive which means less insulin is needed for the blood sugars to be absorbed into your muscle cells and when that is absorbed all the other nutrients will be there as well which is why i like to add salt and minerals to the last the, the workout the post-workout meal as well so that you will actually absorb the sodium potassium etc so that's very good for muscle growth and today is actually a rest day i really feel that i need one especially after a leg day like where the legs are pretty much dead the lower back is dead so today i'm just gonna you know spend time with the girlfriend do some work on the computer some emails some work at the nutrition plans some coaching related stuff um, actually want to make some new pictures for the website vignex.com to uh, because there's two new shirts online um, either now or tomorrow already so uh, be on the lookout for those and uh, yes on a rest day I have the same breakfast but the rest of the meals will be lower carb except for the last meal of the day which the last meal of the day you can use for the workout day that's after the rest day so four meals in between will be lower carbs and the first and last meal will be simply regular meals that I'll, that I'll have on a workout day so anyway guys, um, I want to thank you a lot for watching and uh, a lot more videos like this are coming. If you have any suggestions for videos, make sure to put them down below in the comments. Your support is very much appreciated. And by the way, this Black Friday just went absolutely amazing. The biggest you know, sales we've had so far. So the support is incredible. I really, really appreciate it. My parents were quite busy packing all these shipments though and uh, took quite a while to get everyone, everyone's package out there but uh, that's only good because that's what we want to have happen every single day eventually. So guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to stay golden.